Are you still having trouble sleeping? Well, maybe you want to try this supplement, glycine, and see if it helps with your sleep. So what is glycine and how does it affect your sleep? So glycine is a non-essential amino acid. What that means is it's an amino acid that your body doesn't need you to take in a diet because it can make it. And so essential amino acids really have to be taken in the diet but this one is a non-essential. So basically your body is able to make it. It helps with neurotransmission and we'll get onto that because that actually will help with relaxation and it helps with sleep. It also helps with collagen synthesis and helps with repair. And so a lot of you may know it from that standpoint because glycine is in a lot of recovery drinks, but it's something that you can use at night and I'll share some dosing tips at the very end of this video, but you can use it at night before bed to potentially help with sleep. So how does it work? So the sleep cycle has a non-REM and a REM cycle. So REM meaning rapid eye movement. So the non-REM or the slow wave deep sleep will help you with deep sleep. So it helps relax your body, get you into that deep sleep and improves that latency. So if you lay in bed and you can't fall asleep, glycine is reported to improve that. And it also causes your arteries to dilate. And so basically you get a cooling of the body and how you do that is by the skin, you have dilation of your vessels and so you release a lot of heat. And if you drop your core temperature, it helps you fall asleep. That's why there's all these cooling mattresses and blankets and the sleep bait that will actually help control your core temperature so that you can fall asleep and sleep deeper. So what else does it do? It helps relax the brain. So it acts like a GABA or almost like a volume in the brain to help relax at night. And then it can also, like I said, help with recovery. And so if you are have a good workout and you want some recovery, this is one of those that you can actually use to help with recovery. So there's lots of different formulations of this, lots of different brands. We like medical brands. I'm gonna link some supplements and some sources in the description so that you can find those. But the dosage that I recommend is 30 to 60 minutes before bed and anywhere from one to three grams. So that's your usual start with one gram, titrate up to three if it doesn't help. And a lot of people have tried lots of different supplements and they have trouble sleeping. And this is one of those that again, will help you to relax, get into that sleep, sleep deeper. And so it also helps with your cognition the next day for that reason, because you get a deeper amount of sleep. There is some studies and some talk about going up to as much as 10 grams a day or at night for sleep. And so there's something that you can always titrate up on. One of the things that um, frequently comes up with supplements is whether you can use them with alcohol. What's interesting about this, and I never recommend that you use anything with alcohol because you really don't know how it will affect the alcohol metabolism, but it also helps potentially the liver effects of alcohol. And so improvement in some liver function, potentially if you have some, you know, heavy alcohol use or recent drinking, but also it just helps with potentially even needing alcohol. And so it's something that potentially if you feel like you want to drink and it does interfere with your sleep when you have alcohol use, that maybe glycine will improve that craving for alcohol at night and maybe it'll improve your sleep at the same time. So those are things to think of. It is something that I recommend to patients when they're still having trouble sleeping. So if they're still having trouble sleeping, and again, hormone opt optimization is one of the things that helps with sleep and mood. So if you're optimizing hormones, testosterone is one of those that improves mood and sleep and people don't think about that. And progesterone in women and perimenopause and menopause will help with sleep. But there's other things like getting sunlight in the morning, getting it in the evening. It helps with that melatonin and circadian rhythm, but 
also glycine and magnesium are things that you can add at night. And because we haven't talked about glycine before, I thought I would give you that tip now. So just in summary, glycine can help with sleep. It helps relax, get you into sleep better, deeper sleep, more alertness during the day, and it helps you recover from things, may actually decrease your desire for alcohol at night, which also interferes with your sleep. One to three grams, titrate up to three grams, don't use alcohol with it. And there is the potential that you can also go up to 10 grams, but I would stop at three first and try that for a good solid 30 days and let me know what you think. So drop some comments and let's open a conversation and let me know if you want to talk about anything else, wellness and sexual wellness, because I am willing to deep dive into anything.